I'm Georgia and today I'm going to be reacting to Amish girls visit an English supermarket for the first time. This video is part of a series on TLC called Return to Amish. As a girl who grew up in Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia, I don't know much different to City Gal Beach lifestyle. And I think it's always healthy to broaden your perspective on the world. <laughs> broaden your perspective. Grandma asked both Dana and I to get some groceries for the house. I'm excited to see how an English uh, grocery store looks like. That is so crazy to me that these girls have never been inside a supermarket. My first memory of a supermarket was when I was like three. Until watching this video now, I didn't realize that even that is a luxury, being able to just go to a place where everything is right in front of you on a shelf. There's cucumbers. <laughs> Look, they're already cut. They're I think stopped. that's pretty cool, like how that is. <laughs> I love how they're looking at bags of like cucumbers and baby carrots that have been like cut and like washed already. To be honest, I look at that kind of thing in a supermarket and I just think, what a waste of plastic. Why buy a bag of beans topped and tailed when you can just take them home, not in a plastic bag, and top and tail them yourself? The English people buy vegetables that are already cut and clean. <laughs> that is so lazy. Why wouldn't you just do it yourself? <laughs> That's literally what I was just saying. <laughs> I love how she's just putting it how it is. It is so lazy. Us as a human race, I feel like there were certain things that we like got better at. Like, you know, at first we had horse and cart and then someone was like, hey, hang on, how about a cart? Seems legit, you know? Seems easy, let's do it. But there's just certain things that like don't need to be that easy. Like, you know when you, you open a pistachio, there's that like dopamine rush of like, oh, I got it open. I wouldn't want a bag of pistachios that have already been de-shelled because there's not that like reward of like, I just cracked it open myself and I deserve that little pistachio. I just, I feel like they're onto something here. We are getting like, like too lazy as humans and it is scary. Those Ooh. are expensive. Holy crap. $5.99. <laughs> Girl, that's what, I, that's what I think when I look at any price. I mean, she's bang on the money with that one. That is, that's a lot for eggs. <laughs> Not just for the Amish. $5.99 is a lot for eggs. I wouldn't want to pay that much for eggs. I'd just get chickens. Chicken. You know what, she's got a point. <laughs> why, why do we buy eggs, right? Like why, why do we buy water, you know? Like why, why don't we just stand outside with our mouth open when it rains? Like why do we have lighters, you know, when you can just rub two sticks together for a few hours? I mean, why would you text someone when you can just send them a letter? I think humans as a race have just gotten used to convenience too much. Like these girls have grown up in a community where like you wait for something, whereas most people will just go out and instantly can buy it. Look at those twigs over there. Look at those oh. twigs. <laughs> Why don't they go out in, on a tree and get a, a branch? You know, that would be so weird. Like imagine growing up in a community where you make everything yourself and then you go to a supermarket and there's just like not even a full tree or like a seed or like a pot plant. Just like, no, you just get a part of a tree. Just this one little branch. <laughs> they just look at that and be like, why? Why? Like, why would you want that? It's, it's just useless. And the English are like, it's for decoration. You don't get it. <laughs> like we're that out of touch to nature that we buy nature to put inside our houses. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case we forget what a tree looks like. The English are busy, like they don't have time to cut the tree. Oh my god! My parents used to have a pot in the corner of their house with those exact like twigs on them. I forgot what they were called, but they've got little like fluffy tufty things. And when I was a kid, I used to pick them off. And eventually, mum and dad had no little fluffy tufty things on these twigs because I'd pick them off. They could go out in the woods and pick up any twig they want. I mean, like who? <laughs> Who would actually buy a twig of <laughs> I did buy this uh, individually too. You know how much this was? Just this one? $24. $24. Why'd I buy it? Uh, it looks nice. I, like this is a bit of a joke. Like that's literally a native Australian plant. That's a bottle brush. I could have walked five minutes down the road and probably found one and put in this thing. Did I do that though? No, no. I paid $15.99 at Pillow Talk for that. Imagine paying $15 for that. What a wanker. Bloody hell, who am I? Looks like, like a lot of different kinds of milk. Why wouldn't you just get a cow and milk the cow? <laughs> It's made with almonds. How can you make milk with almonds? <laughs> They've just seen like a bunch of milk and this girl's like, just just get a cow. Like why, why won't you just get a cow? Like I get where you're coming from, babe. Just not sure my three bedroom townhouse would cater the needs of a dairy cow, but I'll take it into account. 
Imagine if that was the norm. Like, imagine if that was normal. Imagine if people just had like a little, a little cow room in their house. Like to the left, uh, you have the powder room and to the right down the hall, that's the cow room. That's, that's my cow, her name's Daisy. And then for the lactose intolerant, they just have this like little room where people just sit there and just squeeze almonds like fuck. I honestly don't think I could milk a cow if I tried. Like, I don't think that's second nature to most people. Like, I probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between a, a male and female cow. Like, you wouldn't want to yank the wrong thing, you know? There's no milk in almonds. This girl be spitting facts. <laughs> like, she's just shutting down Instagram health and wellness accounts as she speaks. I can just imagine when this girl gets a phone, she's gonna get triggered by so much. Like, she's probably gonna watch someone, like, make one of those, like, overnight wheat bix things on TikTok. So then you're just gonna wanna get your almond milk. That's not real milk, just nut juice! Did you ever see, like, Jennifer Lopez? First time I seen pictures of her, I wanted to look like her. <laughs> Me too, girl! I'm not allowed to look at magazines because they have graven images <laughs> and that's exactly why I used to look at them as a child you know when you're a kid and you're like you know, you're at the supermarket and your mum's at the checkout and you're just like staring at the magazines like and then they think if we look at those magazines that's how we want to dress this girl out here explaining what an influencer is. <laughs> Comparing yourselves to photos on Instagram and magazines and stuff, like, you're never gonna be satisfied. And in a way, these girls have the luxury of not seeing any of that stuff and comparing themselves. So it must be a shock to look through those magazines for the first time. I think they're afraid if we look at the magazines, we're gonna wanna leave the Amish. I feel like it would take so much bravery and courage to just step out of that community in the first place and go into a grocery store and go and do things that like the English people do. Great job to them for being able to like get out of their comfort zone and do this because it would be it would be really hard. Imagine if the people would see us like dressed like this. I know they would just be like horrified. Yeah. No, we're not horrified at how you're dressing, it just makes us more horrified about the way we're dressing like what am I what is this like green pants the hell like I literally look like one of the cucumbers you saw at the start of the video I just want to look like Jennifer Lopez and I want to get dressed like I want to wear a nice dress well I'm gonna stop it right there that was really eye-opening to be honest I don't know just watching that made me feel really grateful to be able to have this lifestyle like so much stuff like that we just take for granted a shopping center we just expect there to always be one near us it's like no not not for everyone those girls just look like absolute sweethearts and I hope they're doing all right thank you so much for watching if you like these reaction videos and you would like me to react to more comment down below some videos that you think would be good to react to so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week Week. See you later, potato.